Short time ago, Attorney General Bill Barr sat down exclusively with our very own Bill Hemmer for his first interview since joining the Trump administration. He has been under fire, of course, and the two addressed the, su the summary of the Mueller report, his vow to investigate the origins of that Russia probe now. Bill Hemmer joins me from El Salvador with a preview of the interview airing tomorrow morning on America's Newsroom. Uh, great to have you here, Bill, tonight. Uh, tell me what, what uh, Mr. Barr had to Evening, say. Martha. Uh, that is very interesting. He came here to talk about immigration and the crackdown on MS-13 and fighting criminal gangs. That was the purpose for this trip. And he, he, he was blocked throughout the entire day, Martha, with a schedule that went from law enforcement agency all the way up to the attorney general's office here uh, in the country of El Salvador. About an hour ago, we sat down for about 20 minutes at a prison 30 miles west of the capital city, San Salvador. Uh, it is hot. It is steamy down here this time of year, Martha. And, and I do believe... The overall impression he was trying to relay to us is that when he took the job a few months ago, he asked a lot of questions and kept asking questions and did not get answers that essentially added up. Here is how he phrased it just about an hour ago. I've been trying to get answers to questions, and I found that a lot of the answers have been inadequate. And I, I've also found that uh, some of the explanations I've gotten don't hang together. So in, in a sense, I have more questions today than I did when I first started. Some of what things don't hang together? Some of the explanations of what occurred. Why does that matter? Because I think people have to find out what the government was doing during that period. If we're, if we're worried about foreign influence, for the very same reason, we should be worried about whether government officials abuse their power and put their thumb on the scale. And, and so I'm not saying that happened, uh, but I'm saying that we have to look at that. Th that phrase, don't hang together, is something I really want to impress upon you, Martha, and our viewers. He's used it several times in this trip already. So what does that mean? A very specific question, you'll hear the rest of the context tomorrow when we air the entire interview, is, is the following. Between Election Day of November 2016 and the inauguration, what decisions were made within the Obama administration and the intel community that perhaps may have justified the actions they took? And the one example he would say, Martha, was the Trump Tower meeting in January 6th. He clearly has a lot of questions about that. Beyond that, not a lot of specifics. However, he responds to the accusations of lying before Congress, the contempt before Congress, the obstruction allegation that he did not go forward with, uh, the question about witness tampering. So we get into all this, and he talks about James Comey as well. I think there's a lot of new material in this interview that he has not given just yet. Yeah. Uh, until the first, as you mentioned, television interview he has given as AG. Well, we look forward to that because James Comey said about Attorney General Barr, I think he has lost most of his reputation. It's very clear that James Comey does not like where this Attorney General is poking around. Um, I will tell you, the interview ended on that very question, and his answer was um, interesting. Uh, he pretty much suggested that not a lot of people are going to care about him in the end. He yes. clearly believes he is now the target of a Democratic-led House. And, Martha, he expected that when he took the job. Very interesting stuff yeah. and a lot more throughout this interview coming up. Fascinating, Bill. We all uh, are looking forward to seeing it. Great job, and thanks for sharing that uh, little sneak peek cool. with us this evening. And you we'll bet. be watching tomorrow. Safe home. Thank you very much.